So in this session, I am taking up a question from a student and he is uh, Rishabh Srivastava from uh, Ambedkar Nagar Uttar Pradesh and he writes that uh, he is a class 12 student and he writes that when a capacitor is connected to a battery, how is that possible that a current entering at one end of the capacitor comes out through the other end when there is no material between the plates of the capacitor? Does the current flow through air? So that is a question and uh, uh, it's, it's a very interesting uh, question an interesting phenomena. So let me try to uh, describe it. So if I have a capacitor and then uh, I have this battery and this battery is connected at certain instant, the circuit is connected at certain instant and then the, from the positive end of the battery, a current flows for some time. Okay, if it is a battery, then the current flows for some time and then it stops. And the current uh, initially the current is high and then as time passes the current decreases and goes to almost zero in, in a certain time. Now why there is a current and why the current decreases? This is because the capacitor is connected to this battery. So we are uh, applying some potential difference and if we are applying some potential difference then the charges must flow because initially there is no potential difference here and then this battery is connected. Once it is connected then the potential of this end should be equal to the potential of this end and the potential of this end should be equal to potential of this end. And uh, to bring that condition if we need a charge here, then there will be a potential difference. So there should be a charge somewhere like Q and minus Q on this and it should be such that if this potential difference is V, then this Q by C should also be equal to V. Alright, in that case, in that case, this potential is same as this potential, no current flows, this potential is same as this potential, no current flows. But before that, before that, this is not the condition. Initially, there is no potential difference here. No charge, no potential difference. So the charge comes from the battery, it goes to the plate and that charge does not come out from the other end. That charge is just spread on this plate. It stays there. Right? And similarly, from the negative plate, if you say from the negative plate, negative charge comes and then it goes and then sits here. Uh, it's all electron flow that we know very well, but we describe it this way, all right. So, this charge builds up from zero to this Q, this much of Q, C times V. And for that, the charges are coming, 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 getting stored here, more charge comes, gets stored here, more charge comes, gets stored here, charge comes from this side, negative charge store is stored here and so on, so on, so on, this whole process. And once that uh, charge is reached, the current stops. So that is how the current, we say that the current flows. If you put in, if you put an ammeter here, yes, it will show the current. Multimeter, you can put a multimeter here in current measuring mode or an ammeter. It will show the current, right? So we say that there is a current in the circuit. But it's not that current is going through the air or through the material here. Even if you put a dielectric material, the current will not go through that. The current is only in this wire and only in this wire. If you want to talk in terms of uh, uh, positive charges, the charges are flowing here and then the positive charges are flowing from here to the battery so that uh, you have a uh, minus Q here. If you talk in terms of electrons, then the electrons are coming from here and getting deposited here and electrons from here are coming here and getting deposited here. So the current is only in the wires, not in the gap between the plates.